Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, Keto Cooker with Ron and I'm Ron. If you're new, could you please like and subscribe to the channel? It helps other people know when they post the latest video. Well, today we made a rhubarb cobbler, but we made this early, late in the summer, and well, actually the middle part of the summer. And I had made it for um, when I came back from having my hip surgery and I left it in the refrigerator for a couple of days. When I came back, it kind of really hit the spot. So that's why you haven't got a sample of me uh, I make a bite out of it and uh, but I hope you should enjoy the video it was really quite simple to make and uh, it, you know by the way in case you're wondering we got fine it came out uh, the replacement came out really good it took me uh, a few weeks to get on track and now I'm flying like a you know like an energized bunny out there I'd walk in the uh, trail and everything else that I do so the uh, rhubarb cobbler came out really really good and uh, plan on making that again but these are just some ideas that you can make around the holidays so you don't have to suffer and say, uh, well, what can I have, Ron? How did you uh, become so successful in losing over 120 pounds over the course of my journey? And actually, I lost a lot more than that. I lost close to 135 pounds. So, yeah, so hope you really enjoy the video. And don't forget to be watching for more videos and enjoy your day. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today we're going to be making a rhubarb strawberry cobbler and I got some uh, fresh rhubarb that we're going to be cubing up and I'll have to get some strawberries out of the freezer when I get ready to put it all together and what you'll need for this is a uh, some type of a pan we got today we're using a 5x9 and that's perfectly fine and what we're going to do with this pan is we're going to spray it with a little bit of cooking oil Okay, well welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making a rhubarb strawberry cobbler. And we, for this you're going to need a cooking pan. Today we're using a 5x9 clear Pyrex. And you're going to need some rhubarb. Now I already got the uh, rhubarb rinsed. I'm going to dice it up. And uh, I'll show you the process. And then uh, speed it up a little bit. And then show you how I put it all together. And I'll show you how to make the cobbler crust. Okay, so now let's make the uh, cobbler crust. Let's set that aside. Got one good teaspoon of xandrum gum, and that acts as a thickening agent. Okay, so now we have all this chopped up, and we have our xandrum gum in. Let's give it a good mix. Try to coat some of that the other uh, rhubarb. Five tablespoons of melted butter. Two tablespoons of a confectionate swerve. A little bit of vanilla extract. Two tablespoons. One of large egg, room temperature. And one cup of almond flour. And we're going to put a little bit of uh, lemon juice in. Some type of whisk. You need whisk. Keep working it until you get a crumbly mixture. I forgot to uh, add the uh, lemon, so I added some uh, freshly squeezed lemon on the top of that after this is all done. You just take it and spread it out on top of your uh, cobbler, just like that. A 
Well, there you go. This is our uh, strawberry rhubarb cobbler. It's now ready to go in a preheated oven, which we preheated, and that'll go in the oven for about uh, 30 to 40 minutes, or whenever it's nice and uh, golden brown without burning it, and uh, it, the strawberries and the rhubarb will be fully cooked.